Jesus is redeeming the blood of Jesus, is atoning the blood, the blood of Jesus, is wash the blood, the blood of Jesus, is cleansing the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, is perfecting the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, yes, the blood of Jesus, is delivering the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 The blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood is washing us, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood of Jesus is washing us. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, 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 The blood that makes me whole, the blood that washes me white as snow, the blood that makes me The 
Lord, we thank you for what you are doing here. We thank you for your strong deliverance and how you are redigging wells of deliverance in us, in the kingdom in the body of Christ, in regions, in nations, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that deliverance is not some magical formula or spell to make us feel better or to lift our burdens or bondages. But thank you, Lord Jesus, that deliverance True deliverance is supernatural. That is done through the Holy Spirit. Your presence, God, guiding us. Your presence, God, filling us with your power to make breakthrough evident. To make your Bible, yes, 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 God, flesh on the inside of us, tangible in and around us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this truth today, Lord God, that if it's anything that is outside of your Holy Spirit that we would try to get deliverance through, it is not of you. That it would only bind us further. It would only, Lord God, draw us deeper into darkness, Lord Jesus Christ. So... We reject every method that is not of you. We reject it, God. We reject witchcraft. We reject the world's ways, Lord God. We reject our own manipulations and need to control situations. We reject it, Lord Jesus Christ. We reject being seduced, confused, frustrated, bewitched, bound, and oppressed. Lord God, by anything that seeks to deliver us that is not you, that is not your Holy Spirit, that is not your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Even as the Strong's Concordance lets us know that deliverance means to be helped to be safe, to be saved, to receive victory, to receive wealth, to receive health, to receive prosperity, to receive of your presence, of your glories. We thank you, Lord, that deliverance is about drawing from the wells of salvation. Yes, God. And we know that you are the Savior. The Savior is Jesus Christ. The Savior is Yeshua. Yeshua. The Savior is the blood of Jesus Christ. His works on the cross and how he came to deliver, heal, and set us free. 
We thank you for your presence in this place today that is setting us free. We thank you for your blood that is purifying us and setting us free. Thank you, God. Just receive that. I'm already teaching. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you, God. Deliverance is by God's timing and how God desires it to be. Deliverance can be instantaneous or it can be a process. In Romans 16 and 20, it says, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. And through that scripture, we, we know that deliverance is instantaneous. And then we have Exodus 23, 30 through 33. It says, little by little, I drive them out from before you until you have increased and your, you have inherited the land. And I will set your hands bound from the Red Sea to the sea and the desert and to the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand and you shall deliver them out before you and you shall make no covenant with them nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in your land lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. And so in this scripture, we see that deliverance is about a process with God and him driving out those things that he sent you little by little. And so what I want to talk about today, because often when we focus on deliverance, we focus on how demons are cast out. And that's important. All right. And that's your right. OK, as a believer, as a son of God to cast out devils. OK. And if you go back um, to the uh, teaching that I did in. April, I believe, I, I talk about casting out devils, and that is on our YouTube channel, okay? And so casting out deliverance is so important, but what I want to talk about today is other ways that deliverance can come forth, uh, because these are essential to you staying delivered, okay? So deliverance is... When you're being taught the word of God, the Bible, all right? And uh, even when you're learning to love and study and live through the Bible as a lifestyle, that is deliverance. Tell yourself that. <laughs> if I read my Bible, I'm getting some deliverance, okay? The word is the anointing that breaks the yoke in deliverance. So if you don't have revelation and foundation through the word, okay, you cannot sustain in your deliverance. Deliverance is being taught how to pray and have a prayer life, okay? It is also, uh, uh, as you uh, build in relationship with God and in studying the word, you shift into covenant with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you learn how to remain and abide in a covenant relationship with him, okay? And so the more you evolve in that relationship with Jesus Christ, you are receiving deliverance, okay? This is so very important because oftentimes uh, people will say, I have a relationship with God, but we don't see any transformation. It is impossible to be in a relationship with God and not receive deliverance. So you really want to check yourself. You want to make sure it's Jesus Christ that you're communing with 
and you want to make sure that you're truly in covenant with him. Also, when you're in covenant with Jesus Christ, you are obeying what he is saying. Tell yourself that. I don't even want you to talk to your neighbor. Talk to yourself. <laughs> when you are in relationship with Jesus Christ, you are obeying what he is saying. Don't nobody steal that and put that on a shirt. Write that down. Write that down, Renita. Really, that's our shirt. You are obeying what he is saying. All right? Uh, so uh, that's very important. Okay? Uh, possessing a lifestyle of fasting and praying, it is not possible to truly be fasting and praying according to Jesus Christ and for breakthrough of the things concerning Jesus Christ and not get delivered. Okay? Now, we know that people fast. Uh, other religions fast. Okay? Superstars fast. Singers fast, okay? There is one singer who, who goes in a room and she fasts for 40 days and 40 nights. She cooked herself in offer of sacrifices to God until she gets songs, okay? And she comes out with hit records, all right? She fasted and she praying to her gods and, it, and that principle is producing fruit in her life, okay? So what is your fruit? Because her fruit had her all cut up. <laughs> have her all bound by demonic spirits, okay? Because demonic spirits are entering into her and giving her that revelation. Demonic spirits are communing with her and she's offering up those love sacrifices. And that's where she's getting her, relation, her revelation from and that's who she is serving. So if you are fasting and praying but you are not changing... Receiving deliverance, you want to make sure that it's Jesus Christ, all right? That you are fasting and praying to. You want to make sure you're being obedient to what he is saying, okay? And you want to make sure you're communing with him in your time of consecration, okay? Having a contrite heart is deliverance. And I am going to teach on that Tuesday on Clubhouse at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. How to break your will to truly be sold out to God. Having a contrite heart means that I love the things that God loves and I hate the things that God hates. And I'm willing to sacrifice what I think is good or what I think is right for what God thinks is right and what God believes is good. And so when you come into alignment with what God loves and what he hates, that's deliverance, okay? Uh, being submitted, uh, disciplined, and self-sacrificing unto the Lord and unto those that he put in your life is deliverance. And it keeps you safe. It, it brings you under a governance in God that provides a hedge of protection around you. And so you're automatically rescued and delivered from certain things because the enemy can't get to you, okay? Being guided and continuously evolving uh, into the truth of God is deliverance. <laughs> yes, this needs to be taught because, uh, you know, we just, one of the things that I see in the body of Christ you get your demons uh, cast out, and next week you get them same demons cast out. Okay, and uh, deliverance is not just about the demons being cast out. Okay, how do you take care of your spirit, your heart, your mind, and soul once those demons uh, leave you? Determines your true deliverance. Okay. All right. Being discipled into Christ likeness is deliverance. Ah, I hear a whole lot of t-shirts today. All right. You, you better catch this, Renita. All right. All right. That is deliverance. Okay. And uh, evolving into Christ likeness is, is coming into the nature and character of God, his unique 
presence, his unique uh, identity that is on the inside of you. And so it's so important to ask God, who are you on the inside of me? And, and then ask God, perfect that. Perfect who you are on the inside of me. And so you got to come out of who the world says you are, who you have molded and shaped yourself to be, who your experiences have molded and shaped you to be, and you have to be willing to, to come into who God says you are. And he already put that in the earth before the foundation of the world. He established who you were supposed to be. Okay, and the fall of man altered that, brought in an altered plan. But Jesus, the Savior, the Deliverer, came to restore Christ's likeness uh, into our lives. And so you can have, all right, and be who God says you are. Okay, but you have to be born again in the Spirit with God. And that is uh, birth for through. Prayer through communing with God, building relationship with God, uh, listening to what he is saying, and then embodying it so that you can evolve into Christ's likeness. Being cleansed and purified from generational curses, bondages, cycles, propensities, dedications, and covenants is deliverance. Okay, and so as you would stand as a curse breaker for your generational line and just even for yourself, how those things impact you, okay, and uh, you stand confessing and breaking uh, those bondages off your life, you will shift into deliverance, all right? You will shift into uh, the power of the freedom that Jesus Christ has ordained for your life. Being delivered from regional, national, and land bondages is deliverance. And one of the things that I'm seeing now, it is so important for us to start decreeing like never before. We live in this world, but we are not of this world. Because there are so many shifts and transitions that are occurring in this world that uh, really are oppressive, they're idolatrous, Okay, and they're going to have some implications to them. And we have to start living seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus and posturing ourselves in dominion over uh, this world so that we are not, um, we're not bound in the famine, but we're the answer in the famine. We're not bound. In, by things that occur, and that we are able to influence effectively uh, to thwart some of the things that are occurring. And so I would encourage you to write that down. We are in this world, but we are not of it, okay? And that in and of itself brings deliverance to you when you have that posture, uh, but also it takes you up out of any um, transgression, sins, consequences that that your region, nation, or the land bondage around you is experiencing. Uh, you also want to um, assert your right to have dominion in those spheres of influence as well. And so even as you would assert your right to have dominion, and you will shift the kingdom of heaven into those regions, nations, and lands, deliverance is your portion, okay? Um, being delivered from principalities, powers, and territorial spirits, and that goes along with the point that I just gave, um, that is deliverance. So even knowing what uh, powers and principalities are impacting your community, your region, your nation, uh, asking God to show you that, do a spiritual mapping of that. I do want to say I have a teaching on spiritual mapping on YouTube, but if I don't, I definitely have it in a book. <laughs> uh, Unmasking the Power of the Scouts. Um, say it again. Awakening Regional Revival definitely has it in, in that book. Uh, the Apostolic Mantle has uh, information about mapping territories. 
so I would highly encourage, um, and we might teach on that in one, one of our deliverance events. Highly recommend uh, knowing that revelation so that uh, you can dispel principalities and powers and territorial spirits and how they operate in and around you. Uh, closing off and governing your dream realm is deliverance. Dreams are real realms. And I know I have teachers about this on YouTube. Dreams are real realms and spheres. Your body is sleep, but your mind and your spirit definitely are awake and active. Okay? And so it is so important to govern in those areas to make sure things are not creeping in at night, being deposited into you. Um, you know, activities that are happening or, or causing bondage in your dream, in your sleep realm, and even just in your heart, mind, body, and soul once you're awake because of what has occurred in your dream. And so closing and, and governing your dream realm is essential. And you can do that by praying over your sleep at night, uh, closing off gateways, portals, um, uh, commanding angels to come and, and guard and protect you as you're sleeping. Um, you might have to deal with uh, witchcraft in your life and generational lines and further close off those areas and spheres. You might have to break soul ties with people that you have had encounters with, things of that nature. Uh, but dreams are real realms. And uh, yeah, so if you go on my website, I do have books on how to be delivered from dreams, uh, dream attacks in night season demons. All right. Um, being delivered from witchcraft and idolatry is definitely deliverance. Okay. Um, resisting devils so that they can flee is deliverance. Okay. Treading over darkness, demons, and besetting sins and principalities is deliverance. Renouncing and forgiving quickly. Forgiveness is deliverance. Forgiveness is deliverance. Tell yourself that. Forgiveness is deliverance. Yes. Yes. Endeavor to forgive quickly. Endeavor to forgive yourself quickly. And to forgive others quickly. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, la, let's see. Uh, living through honoring and wanting the conviction of the Holy Spirit is deliverance. Come on. It is deliverance. Do you want the Holy Spirit to tell you what's right and what's wrong? My Lord. That's a whole preach all by itself. Okay. Somebody pick that up and be, get ready to teach that. All right. Being mindful of your words as they have power and canceling ne negative things you and others speak, canceling them quickly is deliverance. Because if you let them linger, they will... Um, they will end up on the frequencies and airways around you, and they have power to produce fruit in your life and in your sphere. Okay? Uh, being mindful of where you go uh -huh, is deliverance. Because sometimes where you go, you might bring back a demon. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Demons might follow you back home. They call it hitchhiking spirit. They just get a call with you and come on back to your house. All right. Okay. So be in mind for where you go yeah. is deliverance. And in this day and age, letting somebody know where you going come on. is deliverance because they are trafficking people and uh, you know y'all on these apps and you meet up with Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my God. You might want to tell somebody <laughs> where you're going, all right, so they can save you. Yes, yes, uh, my audience is saying accountability because they don't want me to tell the Jeffrey Dahmer story. <laughs> accountability is deliverance, all right, so that's why I said being mindful where you go is deliverance, 
Okay? All right. Being mindful of who you with when you go where you go is deliverance. And letting somebody know, all right, who you with is deliverance. Because they might pick up something and say, you want to watch this, you want to watch that. Don't do this, don't do that. Do you want the conviction of the Holy Ghost? I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm helping somebody today, all right? Uh, governing what you allow into your eye gates, your ear gates, your mouth gates, your nose gates, your touch gate is deliverance. My God, all right? You just can't be looking at everything. You know, Jesus even said, you know, you can look upon a woman, you know, so I have to be mindful. I can look upon Thor, all right, and commit adultery. Help me, God. Help Thor, God, not to tempt me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right, so you just want to be mindful of that. Um, I, I would state that even as you would go places, especially around lots of people, or even when you're doing ministry and you, you're doing ministry around lots of people, spend time just soaking yourself in the blood of Jesus and cleansing your eye gates, your ear gates, your touch, sense of touch. Uh, your nose gates, uh, you know, your ears, just asking the Holy Spirit to just wash and cleanse you of anything that you might have picked up. Sometimes you can pick up people's burdens, you can pick up their emotions, you can pick up their thoughts and now you having thoughts or what have you. And some of that is just about the heart of God and the compassion of God. Some of that is about your gifts and your callings and how they operate as you would engage people. So you just want to be mindful of that. Um, and then also, there's just a whole bunch of junk in our atmosphere. All right? And if you're atmospheric, uh, your senses can easily be clogged up, especially if you're very sensitive um, to uh, the spirit realm. All right? So receiving inner healing of trauma and unresolved issues is deliverance. So if those... Uh, situations and experiences that have really impacted you. Uh, you want to spend personal time receiving healing and deliverance just around those situations, okay? And so uh, that will bring great deliverance to you uh, because a lot of times those uh, specific experiences are bleeding over into other areas of your life, okay? And there are so many people that do uh, inner healing. I do inner healing. I have a whole team that does inner healing, and you can learn about that at kswu.net. Yes, that plug was for you, all right, and for me, because I want to help you. All right, uh, counseling and processing uh, to deliverance and wholeness is deliverance. Now, this is interesting. Some medications, I said some, all right, can provide deliverance. So a lot of times we don't want to take the medicine, take the medicine, all right, cast the devil out of yourself, and then, you know, walk in your healing. But some medicines are deliverance. Some medicines will bind you, okay? And so that is definitely uh, something you want to uh, search out with God. Uh, we have so many uh, people that are rising up uh, as uh, in, in Christendom that know a lot about medicines and supplements. I want to encourage you to really start embracing them. Uh, I know Crystal Hollins is one of them. You could one of those people. You could check her out on her Facebook. Ashley to Case is one of them. You can check her out on Facebook. Uh, Brandy Reese. I'm gonna call her out. <laughs> <laughs> you can check her out on Facebook, and if you can't find her, I can find her for you, all right? Uh, and she is uh, very knowledgeable in uh, the spirit of pharmacia. She's very knowledgeable in supplements and um, how foods operate and ingredients and foods and just things that will bring healthiness to your body. Um, so I highly recommend those three people. But I know there are more. Those are just the only ones I know, okay? Um, uh, but I definitely encourage you um, to begin to really embrace uh, that. A lot of times if a doctor gives me a medicine, I'll take it to um, 
uh, Crystal Hollins and we'll talk about it and we'll search out what supplements I can take instead of that medicine uh, or what have you, or if I just need to take the medicine and take supplements uh, to strengthen my healing quicker. And uh, she is a transformer. Uh, Brandy Reese is a transformer. I'll say, can I eat this? And she'll say no. And she'll circle all the, uh, the ingredients that's written in the little um, uh, okay, the little writing at the bottom, and she's like, this going to inflame you, this going to inflame you, this going to kill you, all right? And so, <laughs> you know, um, and we need that right now because our food is definitely not our friend. Yes. Uh, so we definitely need farmers, Christian farmers to rise up and uh, create food that's for us. Yes, that doesn't have all the pesticides and all the other additives that is killing our bodies. All right. Some mental health services can aid in your deliverance. Okay? Um, so don't shun social work and, you know, behavioral therapy and, you know, human services. You may need it to deliver, to, to receive deliverance for yourself. They definitely can save your life sometime. They can put you on the right path. Okay, that's deliverance. Uh, choosing to be delivered, okay, and choosing deliverance daily is deliverance. Who said that? Deliverance is a choice. Come on up here and finish preaching this other page. Yes, because you're ready. <laughs> She said, receive it, receive it, all right? Uh, yes, choosing to be delivered. Deliverance is a choice. You have to choose Jesus Christ as your Savior. Then you have to choose to be obedient to your Savior. Then you have to choose to shift into relationship with your Savior. Then you have to choose daily to be delivered. <laughs> yes, choose ye this day, choose ye, choose ye, all right. All right, being trained in your destiny and calling so that you can release the will and purpose of God in the earth is deliverance, okay? So if God has purposed you to be something, you want to be trained, all right, so that you can walk in it. The more you walk in your destiny and calling, the more you're drawn out of the world, out of darkness, out of demonization, into the kingdom of heaven, okay? All right, healthy self-care is deliverance. Healthy self-care is deliverance. Healthy self-care is deliverance. Caring for others all the time is not deliverance. Come on. It's not deliverance. Putting people first all the time and killing yourself is toxic. Yes, yes, it's toxic. Healthy self-care, healthy boundaries is deliverance, okay? On my blog at kswu.net, I have a um, chapter on self-care and what it looks like. Go over there and read it, okay? Because a whole lot of people are being taken out because they lack self-care, okay? Eating healthy helps God. All right, we all get delivered today. Oh, <laughs> eating healthy. <laughs> oh, I just lost the front row. Help me, God. <laughs> Everybody sweat. Everybody get a bucket and some toilet paper. Eating healthy, partaking of proper nutri nutrition, utilizing vitamins and herbs is... Deliverance. Eating healthy is deliverance. I ain't going to call no foods out. I ain't going to do it. Because I don't want nobody come down my street either. You know, let's just work our salvation out with fear and trembling in this area. Okay? Consistent exercise and care for your body can be a catalyst for deliverance and wellness. Yes, I you you in there? Are you in the room? <laughs> Are you online? Yeah. They y'all they in there. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Yes, we in the new. So the new got us shifting. All right, shifting to this full truth 
of deliverance. Okay, okay. Uh, having a doctor who regards and understands spiritual things is deliverance. Okay? All right. Remember, doctors reveal and treat, but God reveals and heals. Nobody steals that. Write that down, Renita. All right. <laughs> I'm making you rich, girl. I'm making you rich today. <laughs> yes. Remember, doctors reveal and treat, but God reveals and heals. All right. Yes, Renita. Make that money. Make it, girl. And give me a cut. Give me a cut now. All right. Getting sufficient rest. Taking naps. I have to tell myself that. Learning and maintaining emotional wellness, stress management, okay, and governing your mental health is deliverance. See all of these deliverance keys and yes, yes, yes. My God. My God. So taking a 10 minute nap, set your alarm. It'll, it, it'll refresh you, okay? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Learning skills to help you communicate your needs, wants, challenges, and concerns is deliverance. <laughs> Setting boundaries, rejecting toxicity, compromise, leaving and rejecting unhealthy relationships, even family. Don't, don't shoot the messenger, all right? is deliverance, all right? Having healthy and empowering supports is deliverance. And I just speak into your life that God will bring people into your life that are healthy, that are empowering, that can uh, lift you up, bear you up in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that you will have a heart to remove those that are tearing you down belittling you, and depressing you in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Being delivered from false obligations and false loyalties. Yes, everybody coming to the altar, online and in the building today. Everybody coming. <laughs> yes, being delivered from false obligations and loyalties is deliverance. All right? Discerning and living through the divine times and seasons of life and relationships is deliverance. Resisting being a fixer and a rescuer, tell yourself, that's deliverance. <laughs> I'm going to say that again for the people online. Resisting being a fixer and a rescuer. Both of them. Both of them. Both. Okay. <laughs> uh, turn your camera on. Let me do a reel on that. <laughs> right here. Right here in the middle of the sermon. <laughs> Resisting. You ready? Resisting. Being a fixer and a rescuer is deliverance. deliverance. Yes. Shit right now. <laughs> Only being what God requires you to be to people, nothing less and nothing more, is deliverance. The minute you start playing roles that God did not say, it binds you. Okay? Only be what God requires you to be to people. Nothing more, nothing less is deliverance. Having balance in your life and ministry is deliverance. Taking days off, sabbaticals, Vacations. <laughs> Times are refreshing. It's biblical. <laughs> everybody, everybody. It is deliverance. Yes, 
yes, yes. I'm going to say that one again for the people online. Take that day off. Taking days off. Sabbaticals, vacations, and times of refreshing is deliverance. Catch that in the spirit. Catch it. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes. You caught it. <laughs> Somebody said they caught it on the plane. Yes. Go for it. Shift for it. <laughs> and last but not least, possessing faith and belief that God delivers, heals, and set the captives free is deliverance. Deliverance. Yes, if we could have the musicians come back up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for those keys. Deliverance is just not casting out demons. When the demon is cast out, what are you going to do to sustain? Okay. I highly encourage you to come back to our YouTube channel and listen to this over and over and take notes. And implement these into your life because they are going to rescue you. They're going to save you. And so many times we are saying deliverance doesn't work. Jesus Christ, he doesn't, you know, we got God looking schizophrenic. Uh, it doesn't work. Being prayed for doesn't work. The Bible doesn't work. But we're not doing the work. Yes, we're, we're looking for magic. And the Holy Spirit is supernatural. And a lot of the things that I even share today, the Holy Spirit will give you revelation and insight. He'll give you goals and strategies for implementing those things so that you can really, truly be delivered, healed, and set free. Okay. So once the demon is cast out, what is the work you need to do? What are the life tools and keys you need to implement to experience true, complete deliverance? Yeah, shit, right? Lord, we just thank you for this word. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, uh, Lord God, that you are releasing your truths to us today, Lord God, that you are making sure uh, that we sustain in who you are, God, and who we are in you. You are making sure, Lord Jesus Christ, that we know you in the fullness of what it means to be saved, delivered, and set free, Lord God. I just decree that these uh, keys, Lord God, they are burning in the hearts, minds, souls of your people right now, Lord God. I decree a conviction of the Holy Spirit is entering them even now, Lord Jesus Christ, and they are shifting uh, uh, out of just making, casting the devil out, Lord God, uh, some type of uh, just... Uh, a formula that they use, Lord God, and they're shifting into a place of living in this supernatural place of sustaining deliverance with you, Lord God. We come out of doing it in our own strength because we think your word don't work. We come out of doing it in our own strength because we think, uh, Lord God, your prayers don't work uh, or that you don't deliver, Lord God, uh, uh, in, in fullness. We come out of those lies right now, Lord Jesus Christ. So we come into the truth of partnering with you in deliverance and recognizing that deliverance is a choice, Lord Jesus Christ. Deliverance, uh, Lord God, is the children's bread that we feast on daily, Lord God. We feast on, uh, Lord God, your principles, uh, your word, your presence, uh, uh, Lord God, daily, not by our power or might, but by your spirit, Lord Jesus, are we delivered. By your spirit, Lord God, are we set free. By your spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, are we transformed. By your spirit, Lord God, do we go from level to level, glory to glory, in Christ's likeness with you, 
Lord Jesus Christ, yes, God. We become convicted about the things that we heard today, Lord God, that even as we were laughing, uh, Lord God, and even as we we're recognizing that that's me, that's me standing here, Lord God, needing you, needing your truths, needing your goals, needing your strategies, Lord God. We say that our will is breaking today to be obedient to what you are saying to us, Lord God, that even as we are praying for long life and uh, longevity and joy and fulfillment, Lord God, we will do the things that we need to do to really experience fulfillment in life with you, Lord God. Yes, we say it's our need to please you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, so we break our will right here in your presence today, Lord God. Yes, and we rise up in the truth that deliverance is more than casting out devils. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, but we want to be transformed. We want to be transformed, Lord Jesus Christ. We want the life, oh, Lord God, that you have destined for us at the foundation of the world. We want what you want for us, Lord God. We want who you are in us to shine through. Oh, Lord God, yes, God. We say give us a hunger, Lord God, to go past just casting out the devil, to living deliverance, being a representation of deliverance. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, yes. Oh, God, when we represent you well, oh, Lord God, we repent for representing a schizophrenic God. We, we repent for presenting a schizophrenic God that says one thing. Oh, yes, yes, but there appears to be, oh, Lord God, a, a different outcome. We say that is not of you, Lord God. We stand here in truth saying we have misrepresented you. You are a healer. You are a deliverer, God. You are a miracle worker, Lord Jesus Christ. You are a transformer. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, yes. Your blood works. Your blood, Lord God, still works. Your blood, oh, Lord Jesus Christ, redeemed and redeems, Lord Jesus Christ. Your blood atoned and atoned, Lord Jesus Christ. Your cross, oh, Lord God, yes, paid it all. Lord God, yes, yes, yes. And we can live uh, in the fruit of resurrection power with you, Lord God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, we say burn. Burn in our hearts. Burn in our minds. Burn in our souls. Let everything that we sung and declared today come upon us in a new ship. In this time of altar call, of coming before you, Lord God, of being transparent before you, Lord Jesus Christ, and letting you change us, letting you shift us, letting you really work, Lord God, in us for your glory, Lord God. Come and get your glory. Come and get your glory, God. Come and get your glory. Come and transform us and get your glory. Come, Lord Jesus Christ. We invite you in, Lord God. We invite you in our lives to this dimension of deliverance, Lord God. We say go deeper, Lord God, to this dimension of true deliverance, Lord God. Go deeper, Oh, Lord God, to this dimension of deliverance. Uh, yes, Lord God, come for those things that are besetting. Come for those things, Lord God, uh, that are displeasing to you. Come for those things, Lord God, that are contrary to your word. Come, Lord God, deeper, Jesus, deeper. Come, Lord God, come deeper, deeper. Deeper, Lord God, deeper into our souls, deeper into our heart, deeper into our mindsets, our perceptions. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, deeper, deeper. Deeper, Jesus, come for those things that are hidden. Come for those things that are unconscious. Come for those things that we didn't even know were an issue. Come, Lord Jesus, deeper, Lord God. We don't want just surface deliverance, Lord God. We want true transformation. We want deep transformation. We want evidence transformation. We want 
on the inside of you. Yes, we can pray the revival unto salvation, Lord God, because, yes, 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 people being saved is the Lord. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, we thank you, God. We thank you for what you're doing today. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's a done deal. It's already, already done. 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 You can thank the Lord. It's already done. It's already, already done. It's already, already done. You can thank the Lord. Thank the right now. Because it's already, already done. It's already, already done. It's already, already done. You can thank the Lord right, right now because it's already, already done. It's already, already done. It's already, already done. You can thank the Lord, thank Him right now because it's already, already done. Already done. Already done. Already done, already done. You can thank the Lord, thank Him right now, because it's already, it's already done, already done, already done, already done, already done. You can thank the Lord, thank Him right now, because it's already, already done. Hallelujah. Look at you. Hey, I'm sorry, You can thank the Lord right, right now because it's already, it's already done. 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 Online, it's already done. In your region, it's already done. In your family, it's already done. In your 
it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. We're trying to hype me up. Already it's done. already done. Already done. I ain't gonna let you do that. Already it's done. already done. It's already done. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a close case. It's a close case. See? A close case. It's already done. It's a close case. Come on. It's a close case. It's a close case.